This is your daily market review for Thursday, June 27, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review for Thursday, June 27, 2024. Hopefully you're having a great day. As we talked about, the market getting choppy, sloppy, window dressing, all sorts of fun things going on as we end the month and the quarter tomorrow. So what do we know going into the end of the month? Well, typically leaders lead, laggers lag, chops, chops. But however, be keep in mind, if the market is up into the end of the quarter, there could be profit taking. And again, it might be stock specific, might be index specific. Either way, just keep your head on a swivel. Do not trust this. However, as my friend NH here, Eric said, I agree. <clears throat> you have a holiday on Wednesday, midweek, another midweek one. And knowing that, well, could the market be a little gamish, right? We'll see. Again, personally, I think there's no doubt that the market in itself and its entirety based on what we're seeing should pull back in time because of the slowing economic data. <clears throat> Again, you've seen the rest of the world starting to begin cutting rates. Well, why are they cutting? Is inflation really coming down? I mean, that's the hardest thing here. Just do yourself a favor. Define your risk. Be probability based. Again, do not assume that you're always going to be right or wrong. Define your risk. Again, that is the key. Whether you're doing option stocks, be careful. So if you're new to the Discord room or this channel, sorry, check out the Discord room. A link in the description below. Follow on Twitter. Posted a ton of stuff today. A lot of great trades out there. Again, whether you're going long, cybersecurity, playing some of the you know tech names, long, short. There's been some good trades. So if you have any questions, again, reach out, use the link in the description for Calendly. Hit me up, take 30 minutes, let's chat, let's see what I can do to help. We also got the website, again, recommended reading. You have all your education series, all the fun things on this website. Spend a minute here, play around. Again, if you need any help, real estate-wise, buying, selling, investing, I got you covered. That's all I ask is that if you are looking to do anything in the real estate market and you appreciate all the guidance, the insights, all the massive amounts of uh, <clears throat> data, not data, education, let me know. Let me know how I can help. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I appreciate it. As I said, there's no rate cuts potentially till September. If there was going to be any in July, well, you think you know why that would happen, right? It'd be because of the economic kind of uncertainty getting worse. Markets pulling back. Black Swan event. <clears throat> More geopolitical risk. Who the heck knows? Either way, please be careful out there. Good old Bitcoin, as we've talked about, watching the 60,000. To me, again, it looks like it's in a big chop zone. And at this point, watch. Because <clears throat> it can hang out along the bottom, just like it can hang out along the top for more than one day. So anyone getting really excited about it, again, define your risk. <clears throat> and Ideally, you want to be closer to 60,000 if you're going to buy with your tight stops. Because we know the game. Sometimes it traps down, traps up, then goes. Oil, as we talked about, chopping around, nothing really much to say. Again, I personally think that the downside risk when markets pull back in oil will not be as great because of why. We have to refill the SBR, folks. We absolutely have to refill it. <clears throat> Natural gas, holding up pretty well. Again, I love this trade long term. I don't think there's much downside if you get anywhere closer to the range lows. I think we'll be natural gas exporters. I don't need to go on that rant every day. Dollar holding up <clears throat> pretty well. Little gap down, but then bought. Again, in the world of crappy currencies floating in, or in the toilet, the dollar is floating. <clears throat> All the other ones have been kind of trash. I mean, especially the yen. Good God. TLT. This one was hard because we got a big gap down yesterday, and then we're chopping back. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we finished at 94 for the week. Just a little bit of game, gamemanship here. Again, I think rates will go lower as inflation wanes because it turns more into deflation. I, again, it's just <clears throat> when. Do yourself a favor. Be careful with short-term options. You could get absolutely burned. VIX, I mean, Jesus. Can we get any closer to 12? I guess we're going to get there. Keep it on. Again, do I trust it? No. Vivix, we talked about bottoming first. Has bottomed first. Man, I mean, it kind of looks like there's a little trend here, doesn't it? Sorry, I just kind of speaking, like watching it. Again, speak it into existence. Maybe it's real or maybe it's not. Again, in a probability-based game, just... Watch it. Do what you can. <clears throat> Sorry. Drawing on the fly. And just be intentional. Just be intentional. Oh, I can't open it up. We'll mess with it later. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Spy. <clears throat> close at the, I don't know. Basically, it kind of popped at the end of the day. I, IWM closed at the high of the day. 
Again, chopping around the eight and 10 day. I mean, this is just seems like par for the course. QQQ, after these gap downs and big moves down last last week, <clears throat> seems to be no really upside Momo. Maybe you get it tomorrow, maybe you get selling. Again, you have personal income, PCE data, spending, Chicago PMI, all that could be very interesting going into the end of the quarter. IWM, we've talked about this, is where you have to be, it's hard to trust the market when the IWM is lagging. Remember, why is the IWM matter? <clears throat> People ask like, well, small caps, like they're the most leveraged to the United States, US economy. And they've been lagging. The uh, talked about the industrials like the Dow leading up, and it's just been stuck. It's just been stuck. As the Qs and the SPY made new highs, this did not. Gold talked about choppiness into the end of the quarter. <clears throat> Man, wow! Look at these candles, right? Right. Look at these gaps. <laughs> not much action intraday. So it's one of those things we had to be in before. July can be seasonally bullish, but also too, I mean, is it playing the game of like Bitcoin? Right, chopping. Flopping, bouncing around. Keep that in mind. I mean, it looks very similar. Same, 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 but different. <clears throat> right? Gold and Bitcoin. Silver, not. And again, this is what's hard to trust. Gold got no bid, or silver's got no bid. GDX, mm, yeah, I guess. GDX, J, I mean, we talked about these doing a little bounce, bounce. Chop, chop. AEM, again, I like these names long term. I really do. We'll see what happens. 50 day, AG. Chop, chop, fizz, fizz. I mean, this name should be up, but it's not. Newmont, again, this should be in the 70s or 80s. It's not. Somebody knows at some point. They're just, in my opinion, they're playing the big accumulation game. When they're ready to rip, they will. Taiwan Semi. We talked about Micron after the close getting beat down. <clears throat> not surprised it gapped up, gave it back. Speaking of the Macron, right? Look at the levels. I mean, we nailed this. Said, watch this area for a bounce, chop, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Couldn't get over the 20-day. Again, this is why the technicals matter. It's why I like simple moving averages. They usually simply work, right? Check that out. AM Dizzle. People like this stock. Again, I, I mean, this is like painful to watch. When it goes, it goes maybe. I mean, if you really want to be bullish, I would absolutely just wait for the 100-day and not do a single damn thing. And if you're bearish, <clears throat> you got to get near the highs to find a risk. This is one of those trades that just leave it alone. NVIDIA, as we talked about, watching this 126, 127 area lagging but also again we talked about rising into the end of the quarter blow off top insiders can't sell this stock fast enough watching the eight and ten day and then the perpet like the kind of squeezeness between that and the 20 day just keeping on it smci again popping <clears throat> held the 20 day congrats again this thing is feels like it could be building for a bigger candle jay solstice i know is all on top of this again we the levels are obvious doesn't take a rocket scientist <clears throat> a rocket mathematician mathematician to figure it out if it holds I mean, you could see a candle right back to the highs and again if you're trading this i mean it's 100 200 points in two or three days Mwah. kiss besos Man, many besos speaking of <clears throat> not besos though intel i mean i can't believe people continue to want to again if I, I it's almost like watching paint dry if you really want to go long this wait but man I, I just i don't think there's anything here smh catching some cells between the, um, because the Macron, I don't always want to say Micron. <clears throat> Watch the 20 day. Check that out, right? Four day ranges, 20 day breaks. Good. Gets over. I don't know. I guess the highs are really like around 260 something. Yeah. Just again, know your levels. <sighs> Adobe. Love the 200 day for a short. Didn't short today because of the end of the quarter. Kind of just watching it here. Do you have no doubt that this candle right here is a tractor beam? Right, it's gonna have some issues in this area. Right, do I need to rush into it? Nah, but again, I like the short. Just wait for it. Again, the high, remember the higher it goes, the better for shorting because I think they're gonna have issues like all tech. Apple <clears throat> gapped up. Really an indecisive day. I'd be watching for the notorious Doji sandwich. Like here you go. If you gap up, continue going. Well, here have another gap up. Look at these four gap ups in a row. <sighs> but no volume. It's it's sneaky. Again, it's one of those stocks where like I like the idea of shorting, but didn't do shit. Uh, Amazon, congrats. I mean, again, these these are trades that if you're in the Discord room, you saw and you, again, credit. Again, I'm not always the one who's giving out trades. This is why I love the Discord room. Love you guys. Chase Solstice, again, was talking about seeing the call options. Confirmed it in my own vision, looking at things, options as well. I mean, again, if they're pushing names up into the end of the quarter, end of the month, <clears throat> momentum will fly into this stuff. And it's very clear. 
And so congratulations to anyone who took the trade. I mean, how much higher? It's one of those things. I don't know if I would sit here and pretend that you have to know exactly how much higher it's going to go. Just be careful. Again, if you got in near the lows and you're printing money with options short term, trade around your position. Congrats. High five. Bess says, mm. uh, Meta, here we go. Coming up into this range. This could be another trade for a breakout. I mean, is it going to be end of the month, first quarter, start of the quarter kind of breakouts? That could be fake outs. I mean, I've seen these a million times. CRM catching a little bitty bid bid. <clears throat> Look at that. 200 day. Again, I'd be watching. Just watch. again, you don't always have to trade everything. Just put these things on your radar, right? Just put them on your radar. Guggenheim holding up, right? Like, what do you say here? Hmm. Nothing. Just <laughs> looks. I mean, this is one of those things where, again, I've, I go on record again. This is why the first and last three business days of the month and OPEX are very tricky, 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 tricky. <clears throat> I mean, if it breaks out, it's going. People are saying 200. Maybe it is. I don't know. But either way, again, this is the thing. If you're bullish, raise your stops, define your risk, and take your profits. Again, do not get do not get crazy. Microsoft holding up pretty well. NDAQ, again, I really do believe that in the long term, this will be the one index that, sorry, exchange that will absolutely get cooked. And when I say cooked, meaning you know what. I mean, there's not, people are going to be trading commodities. So, of course, it's going to be lagging. Keep an eye on it. MicroStrategy, here you go. <clears throat> Bitcoin holds that 60,000, 58,000. Well, of course, it could come right back up to the 1700s. Again, if you're trading this stuff and paying attention to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment. I appreciate you guys. If you've gotten this far, you are, I'm your fan. Again, I appreciate all the comments. I mean, it matters to me who's involved, who's talking, who's interacting. Netflix, keep an eye on this recent level. Again, I don't know why anyone would be buying this name. No growth. Industry that's just, again, ugh. Coming back towards all-time tide, do we hit a 700 handle? Is it going to be a breakout or a trap? Good old Roblox chopping. Holding up pretty darn well, though. I mean, again, I'm not sitting here saying go short this thing. Like, that would just... Seems like you're putting yourself on a missile to potentially crash land into the ocean or outer space. Man, you're not going to crash land outer space, but you might hit the moon. I would just leave it alone. It's just, again, it's one of those things, just watching... Good old Pan W. You're welcome. Again, leave a comment below if you took this trade. We said, watch what happens here. And when you gapped up this morning, that was the game on candle. Got to upgrade today. Now, will it fill the gap? Fill this gap? I don't know. But if you're bullish, again, the more you're up, the less you own. And again, especially if you're near-term trading, like if you have short-term calls, you got to trade around it. <clears throat> because what happens typically is you go up, chop around, up, chop around. Me personally, again, trying to just be the benefit. Long term, I hope this is, the, you know, if you're long term bullish, great. If you're like me and you're like, yeah, trade around it, watch it. I think there's going to be bigger pullbacks in time. Tesla, a lot of people are jumping on the AI future of this one. This one probably has some gusto as we've talked about, especially if it gets over this 200 level. And I mean, how high? 250, 230 trend lines? I don't know. I mean, the, the whole like robot future talk is just growing. And so maybe they catch some momentum. Whether, again, price is in, it's just, I don't know. Inside, again, I like this company. I think they will get bought out at some point. Mickey D, da 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 Gets the Barron's upgrade, reacts negatively. But again, end of the quarter, near the range of lows, it's just kind of an eyeball on it. DKNG, as we told you. You've been told. <clears throat> we knew this could probably bounce when it gapped down after some time down. Channel lows, channel highs. Gives it up, 200-day. Again, end of sports betting for at least a couple months. I would not be surprised if it pulls back. And then I'm also seeing all the stuff with ESPN. Like, I don't I don't know. ESPN, that's interesting. Uh, Airbnb, getting over the gap in 50-day. We talked about this. All right, if it does, again, don't be surprised if momentum can catch into names at the end of the quarter. I've talked about this a million times. And if you haven't watched the videos on it, do yourself a favor. Costco, like, again, this one's been leading. I don't know if it's going to have much momentum. Like, who else is literally left to buy? This thing has been... Beast mode. Starbucks talked about this piece of junk gapping down. It was oversold. We were talking about shorts in the 100 levels. Congrats. And now what? Again, let it play out. 50 day. If you want to short it more, you got a reference. I mean, to me personally, the easy trade is patience, you know, playing these extremes, but giving yourself time. Because again, after something gets destroyed, don't be surprised. Right? Be careful. Oh, sorry. Uh, good old Federal Express. 
I like the short up here. I really do. As we talked about, I got stopped out just watching it. Three day rule now is in effect in my mind. I'm trying to see if there's going to be a ceiling that forms. Caterpillar, we like the cat meow, right? We like the short on this one. But again, we talked about oversold. Let it play out. Maybe the 20 day, maybe this again. I think the ideal, you can see it right here. See this candle right here, how the top of that has huge volume. 340s. That would be the that would be the dealio. There you go. Ah, oh, another new core again. Materials again. I'm not really into shorting materials, and I know some people are looking at this. It just feels like it might be due for this chop chop. Good old letter X. Here you go, chopping around the valet, valet. Who again? Oversold near term. Ugh, global growth name. Oof, I don't know. Arrow. We like copper. We like copper a lot, but again, I just can't trust these names, especially at these gap downs. And they, I've got like these head and shoulder formations. Now, if you invalidate a head and shoulders, it could go rocket and up. But if it doesn't, just leave it alone. CCJ. <clears throat> Here you go, right? Chop, chop. Again, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Again, I hate when Goldman upgrades at the highs. I just hate it. And I'm watching this and I'm just like, eh. CF Ag names, they've been lagging this quarter. Not surprised they're going nowhere at the end of the quarter. You know, they had some nice oversold bounces, but I don't really see them going more. A -A Aaron. A -A Aaron, we love aluminum long term, right? Nice run, 50 day. I mean, I'd be watching for lower lows. I would. I don't know why you wouldn't come back to the 35 area. XLF, everybody passes the stress test. Of course they do. Nothing, of course. That's what we said, watch 100 day again. Not surprised we're chopping around. JP Morgan, this is interesting. Every time it gets back up towards 200, has peaks my interest. Stanley Morgan, Morgan Stanley, look at this, right? 50 day, Bank of Chimerica, holding up pretty well. Oh, held the 50 day again twice. Just keep your eyes on it. Goldman Snacks, interesting gap down today. Again, I personally don't have any positions on these names, but I, that will, sorry, not on the individual names, but I do on the FAS, right? Carry. Again, I like financial shorts. The, they will hold the bag when everything goes. We've talked about the carry, just been an incredible laggard. Again, I apologize for the sounds. They're washing the windows in the background. My house. Um, yeah, keep an eye on it. Again, I'm, are you surprised it's bouncing? No. I mean, are you surprised by anything at this point? No. <laughs> just be careful. XBI, there's a risk on name. Not really much to say to it. It's just been stuck. We talked about the XHB housing index. Look at it. Just, just holding tight on the 100 level. This is, to me, a red flag worth watching absolutely worth watching iyt we talk about the transports right chop 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 worth watching again always watch you got to watch the market it's not one market it's the whole market solar not surprised near term if it's due to bounce and the quarter has been absolute shit show she said we talked about probably time to take profits i mean this thing's gotten absolutely crushed if you short it at 300 congrats ENPH, another name that, you know, identified some areas. All right, back near some range lows. <laughs> Do, I mean, again, even like first solar, we talked about like, don't be surprised at these bounce. Don't sit here and bury your head. I mean, of course you want them to go down if you're short, but don't be surprised when something drops 10, 15, 20%. It catches a bid. Oil, oh, sorry, HYG. Again, I don't know why anyone would buy corporate debt. You got to be crazy. Oil holding up pretty darn well. Again, I, I personally believe that same thing. I mean, just at some point, like these will be life changing potential buys. UNG, just not now, right? Not so much. The, the lifetime change will be KOLD. I mean, I think it will go to like post market, some sort of price where you just go, what the? <laughs> go, no shit. XOPs, we talked about this was oversold, got a little bounce, and then no really no follow through. All these names, man, they just kind of look like they're stuck. ExxonMobil, this is interesting area because you do have a reference. Just keep that in mind. CVE, again, we like these long-term chopping around here. Valero, chop, chop, gasoline names, chop, 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 fizz, 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 really fizz. Occidental, going nowhere, Buffett sell the covered call king, doing what the king does, letting it trade in a range. What a, what a, what dude's the man. EQT, right? We talked about with letting it pull back. I mean, 28 would be ideal. And last but not least, the flex LN Jizzle. Again, I think we'll be natural gas exporters. So if you have any questions about real estate, got any questions about the market, do what you need to do, but reach out. Don't hesitate. Again, I am here to help. If you need help, 
don't hesitate to reach. Peace out. I love you guys. Have a great afternoon.